This is an OBS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2,799. I'm your host, Jeff Alpha, the Big Game Hunter. Oh, the Big Day, episode 2,800. No job search podcast that's even close to that number of shows. There's some very good ones out there. I'm not going to mention any names, but there's some very good podcasts, and they just do a weekly show. Some of them are very good, some less good. But what I've chosen to do is to give job search advice over the course of time to deal with all the little situations that surface. And this is one that deals with a background check. How important is it for job titles in a background check to be completely accurate? Hope you find this show helpful tomorrow, episode 2800. Yesterday was the birthday show, and I'll be back in just one moment. How important is it for job titles in a background check to be totally accurate? Well, I'll just simply say if they're not accurate, they're totally inaccurate. Uh, So you can say, I'm going to give an example. You can say you are a uh, programmer level 14, or you can say you're a lead developer based upon it functionally what you do. I would say lead developer instead of programmer level 14 is the correct answer. So, you know, you can always, in talking with an employer and sending in an application, you can say that on your resume, you use the functional role, the functional title to reflect your work and opted not to include your institutional title of, for example, programmer level 14 or accountant senior, uh, accountant comma senior level two, whatever it is, just describe yourself functionally and that'll be okay. 